When manufacturers perform ratio and winding resistance tests at the end of the production process or during factory acceptance testing, time is costly and performing such tests efficiently is crucial. When performing diagnostic tests on site, there's usually a limited window of time. The CPC100 and the CPSB1 switch box make ratio and winding resistance measurements efficient by avoiding climbing up and down the transformer repeatedly and reducing connection errors. Using the CPSB1 switch box accessory, the CPC can automatically measure the ratio and magnetization current of all taps of all windings, confirm the vector group, and measure static and dynamic winding resistance for all taps of all windings. The switch box is wired to all three phases of the transformer, as well as to the tap changer's up and down commands. The CPC's outputs and measurement inputs are connected to the switch box. Test connections are only made once. With the same cabling, both ratio and resistance measurements are performed one after another automatically, making measurements faster and safer. Test connections are assisted by clear diagrams in the user manual or displayed directly in the primary test manager software. A color scheme of the cables corresponding to these diagrams simplifies the setup. Additionally, the switch box automatically checks wiring plausibility to help avoid wiring errors. When measuring ratio and magnetization current in each tap position, the CPSB1 switch box automatically switches to the different phases, minimizing tap changer operation. After measuring the ratio for all phases in one tap position, it operates the onload tap changer and measures the values for the next tap. The CPC compares the results to the ratio specified for each tap and displays the deviations. Then, the CPC performs the winding resistance measurement. Injecting DC current requires the inductive energy in the winding to be charged and discharged. Thus, this measurement needs to be performed phase by phase. In each tap position, the CPC measures the resistance value. Then, the tap changer is operated in order to perform the measurement in the next tap position. This process is repeated until all measurements on one transformer phase are finished. Then the winding is discharged before switching to the next phase. At the end of the last measurement, the CPC indicates that the test is finished and that it's safe to remove the test connections. Results are presented numerically and graphically in the report and can conveniently be compared to factory results, previous measurements, or transformers of the same type. Measuring ratio, magnetization current, and static and dynamic winding resistance is faster, safer, and easier with the CPSB1 switch box.